And Northeast Ohio Park officials may stomp out smoking at the zoo. The panel that oversees the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo is being asked to make it smoke-free by the beginning of 2011. Kristen Severance with our partners at the Ohio News Network joins us now with more. And Chris, I understand the zoo could lose funding if they don't move forward with the ban. Lee, that is a possibility. In fact, a large foundation said they may not support the zoo unless this smoking ban is put into place. Cleveland Metro Park's zoo officials want to be the next family-friendly venue in Northeast Ohio to stop smokers from lighting up on their property. I believe that, you know, being a smoke-free zoo is, is the right thing to do. 1.2 million people visit the zoo every year, mostly families and school-age children. The zoo surveyed people over the last year, and only 5% of the people surveyed were against the ban. Come with their families. They don't want to be exposed to uh, uh, people that smoke. There are actually six designated smoking areas in the zoo, but as you can see, they're out in the open, and zoo officials say a lot of people either walk out of them or don't pay attention to the signs at all. The zoo's pretty congested, so it's hard to put them completely off to the side. The Cleveland Metro Parks commissioners discuss the issue at a meeting. They vote on the ban at the next meeting in a couple of weeks. Zoo officials say a no vote could mean less donations next year. There are some foundations who have contributed dollars to the zoo who have questioned the fact that, you know, we aren't a no-smoking facility. And there was one in particular that was very concerned and said that they would really have to think twice about uh, giving us more money until we were a no-smoking facility. All right, that vote is November 18th, and throughout the state of Ohio, the Cincinnati, Toledo, and Akron zoos all ban smoking on their property. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kristen Severance, the Ohio News Network.